Well, well, welcome to part th four, where we're going to be looking at the abilities that came from the elven race. When an ancient building is damaged, you can have it eat a tree. Cast it on a tree, consumes the tree, and regenerates the building by some health over time. This is the basis of the item Tango. Huntress's Sentinel can be cast on a tree and enhance vision in the area of effect around it. This is the basis for Trayant Protector's Eyes of the Forest, Aghanim's Upgrade. I walk in shadow. Moon Glaives allow the Huntress to attack multiple targets with a bouncing glaive and has been given to Luna for her Loon Graves. Pray for Dawn. My wait is over. All night elf women have the ability to hide. During the nighttime, if they are not moving, they can turn invisible. Not shown here, but this is used as part of Templar's Assassin's meld ability. The Wisp can detonate burning mana from an AoE. This is the basis for EMP given to Invoker. The Glaive Thrower's Vorpal Blades allow it to attack multiple targets in a row and is given to Templar Assassin for side blades. The Druid of the Talon can cast Fairy Fire on enemy units. This reveals their location and reduces their armor. This is the basis for Corrosive Haze given to Slardar and Bounty Hunter's Track. It has begun. The Druid can also cast Cyclone, which sends an unit into the air. This variant of Cyclone was given to Yule's Scepter of Divinity. That's a given. The Cyclone unit it is invincible and perched. For my brothers. The Druid the Talon can also turn into a crow, giving him flight. A portion of this ability was given to Batrider and to Winter Wyvern. Druid of the Claw can cast Rejuvenation, which heals allied units over a period of time. This is the basis of Shadow Word, given to Warlock. You can also cast Roar, which increases allied units' attack damage. This is given to Lone Druid, when he's in bear form, to use. Speaking of Lone Druid and Bear form, the Druid of the Claw can transform into a bear. And back. Tiny the Stone Giant is based off of the Night Elf Mountain Giant. Mountain Giant can grab a tree and use it to deal bonus damage to buildings. Tiny has 5 hits, the Mountain Giant has 15. The Mountain Giant also has the ability Taunt. This isn't as powerful as Axe's Taunt, but is the inspiration. Hardened Skin reduces incoming damage by a set amount and is used as the base for Stout Shield and its upgrades, as well as Kraken Shell. The Fairy Dragon lends its model and its phase shift ability to the Puck from Dota. Phase shift allows you to dodge attacks. <laughs> Mana Flare makes it so that the Fairy Dragon deals damage to any spellcasters. This is given to the Puck in Award. Yes, my lady. The Keeper of the Groves Entangling Roots roots a target and deals damage over time. This is given to Crystal Maiden for Frostbite, as well as Lone Druid's Spirit Bear's Entangling Roots ability. By the Spirit. Well, there it is. Force of Nature can be cast on trees to turn them into Ents and has been given to Furion, the Nature's Prophet. So shall it be. 
Priestess of the Moon holds True Shot Aura. This gives bonus damage to allied ranged units. Ranged units specifically. This was given to Drow Ranger for her old True Shot Aura. Now, the True Shot Aura gives attack speed. But, if you remember, the old one did give bonus damage. Searing Arrows adds bonus damage to each attack from Priestess of the Moon and has been given to Clinks. Strike! Leading the way. Starfall, a channeled ability, shoots stars from the sky which deal damage. In Dota 2, this was changed from a channel to a single cast and given to Murata. The Demon Hunter has Mana Burn, which was given to Nyx's Assassin. It deals damage to a target's mana and health. This can also be found in some of the small Satyr camps. Immolation surrounds the Demon Hunter in fire, dealing damage in the area of effect. The damage component was given to Flame Guard for Ember Spirit. At last. The Demon Hunter also possesses his evasion. This was given to Phantom Assassin. Note the red mist test. You guys remember that from Olda? Finally, using Metamorphosis, you can transform into a demonic figure. This demonic figure has ranged attack, bonus attack, and a deeper voice. This is given to Terror Blade for his metamorphosis. The Warden's Fan of Knives was adapted into Bristleback's Quill Spray. Deals damage in an area of effect. Blink has been given to both Anti-Mage and Queen of Pain. When cast, it teleports you a short distance. Understood. I can taste their fear. Shadow Strike has been given to Queen of Pain under a spell with the same name. And it does the same thing. Dealing initial damage and then damage over time while the target is slowed. Justice shall be swift. <laughs> 